Hi, Mr. Stephen, it's time. Uh, you can start, please. Okay, thank okay. you, Sister Victoria. Uh, praise the Lord, everyone. Uh, praise the Lord once again. Uh, my name is Stephen Yaega, and what a great day it is to just be in the house of the Lord and to just pour out your heart upon him, and especially during these 21 days of Thanksgiving. Uh, what we're just going to do at this time is we're just going to uh, enter the courts of the Lord with praise and thanksgiving. And what we're going to, we're going to worship the Lord from the book of uh, the book of Isaiah chapter 25 verse 1. I'm reading from the Amplified Bible. It says, oh Lord, you are my God. I will exalt you. I will praise and give thanks to your name for you have done miraculous things, planned long and plans formed long, long ago, fulfilled with perfect faithfulness. So we can attest that even in regard to that verse, we have seen the goodness of the Lord. We have seen the miraculous power of the Lord. We have seen the plans that he has already formed, plans to prosper us and not to harm us, plans to give us a hope and a future. We are able to thank him because we have seen him in various dimensions. We have seen the definition of his name, the description of his name in various dimensions, whether it's in finance, whether it's in relationships, whether it's breaking the yokes. We have seen his name literally in action. We have seen his majestic presence. We have experienced the tangibility of his faithfulness. He has been with us. He has never left us. He has never forsaken us. He has always upheld us with his righteous right hand. We stand even in this year because of his steadfast love in the mighty name of Jesus. So we're just going to unmute and worship the Lord in that regard. We are worship, worshiping him for his miraculous deeds and his majestic power yeah. in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. Oh, Rabba Shente Rebaranta Yebo Sutta Rabba Shente Oh, Rabba Shente Abara Kosan Sayabo Rekanda Rabba Shente Yereba Father God, we thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercies. We thank you for your anointings. We thank you for your power, O God. O Rabashenta, we thank you that you are God who heals. You are God who shields. You are God who protects. You are God who upholds. You are God who defends. Father God, we thank you for this new season. We thank you for this new day. We thank you for your power. We stand in awe of you, O God. We stand, O Father God, because of your steadfast grace. Father God, we stand. We stand, oh God, Father God, because you have made us lie down in great pastures. You have made us, Almighty Father God, to stand, oh Rabbi Father God, we thank you, God, for your faithfulness, oh God, for your loving kindness, Almighty Father. Oh Lord, you are our refuge, you are our fortress. There is none like you, oh God, who never sheds. Who can do the things that you have done? Who can do the things that you have done? Oh, Rabbi Shenda, you have opened doors that no man can shut, and you have shut doors that no man can open. Father God, Rabbi Shenda, you have elevated the valleys, Father, you have cut down the mountains. Oh, Rabbi Shenda, yeah, oh, Rabbi Yaba Shenda, you have sealed, oh, Father God, the works of the enemy completely. Father God, that it shall never rise again. Oh, we thank you, Father God, because we have experienced you as a warrior. We have experienced you as a king. We have experienced you as a priest. We have experienced you as Lord. We have experienced you as our Savior. We have experienced you as a 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. We thank you, Father. We give you praise, oh God. We give you glory, oh God. Thank you, my King, oh God. Thank you, Father God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 We are also going to thank the Lord. Uh, from the book of Psalm, chapter 65, verse 11, it says, you crown the year with your bounty and your paths overflow. Yeah. So we are thanking the Lord. You know, the theme for this year, as God has given us that revelation, is divine restoration. So God has already crowned this year, 2024, yeah. with his bounty. So that means that you shall never lack a thing. In the mighty name of Jesus, there is a budget allocated for each and every individual and the currency is abundance in the mighty name of Jesus, meaning that you shall never lack a thing in regard to whatever dimension that you are, whatever dimension it is. The Bible still says, even in that, I will use the Philippians 4.19 to support even this word. And it says, my God will meet all my needs in accordance to his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. So we are just going to thank the Lord that he is going to bless us exceedingly abundantly above all we could have even asked for or even imagined in the name of Jesus. We are going to thank the Lord because the north will flow with overflow, the east, the south, the west yeah, will flow yeah, with overflow yeah, in yeah, the mighty yeah, name yeah. of Jesus. Oh, we are yeah, going to yeah, thank yeah, the Lord. Yeah, 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 Seasons yeah, where you are just focused. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's yeah, just yeah, begin yeah, to worship. Yeah, 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 You made the lights fall in pleasant places. Oh, Rakara Basenza, Rokosan 
Thank you for enlarging my tent and strengthening my steps. In the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. We thank you, God. We thank you, God, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And then the next thing that you're just going to do, we're just going to thank the Lord for the tribe and for the king's arrow. And you're going to thank the Lord from the book of Ezekiel, chapter 47, verse 9. And it says, it will come about that every living creature which swarms in every place where the river goes will live. And there will be a great number of fish because these waters go there so that the waters of the sea are healed and become fresh. So everything will live wherever the river goes. I cannot test that even the tribe and the king's arrow has been that type of river stirring up refreshing in families, stirring up refreshing in individuals, you know, refreshing even in various ministries. We've seen that even businesses have been revived. We've seen that even ministries have been empowered. We have seen that there's so much, um, you know, there's so much refreshing and there's so much even change and transformation in our nations, in the mighty name of Jesus, in community in the mighty name of Jesus. So we're just going to thank the Lord for the tribe and king's arrow for being that type of river that refreshes, that type of river that brings multiplicity, it brings increase, it brings salvation in the mighty name of Jesus. We're just going yeah, to thank the yeah, Lord in that yeah, regard. Yeah. Oh, Father God, we thank Thank you for the tribe, oh God. Thank you for King's Arrow, oh God. That has been a river, oh God, that revives. It has been a river, oh God, that brings hope in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Rakanda Rabashenda, Rokosan Sarabasha, Rekaya Mashen Serenemosha, Rekaya Mosan Sarabasheka, Rokosan Sayama, Reba Son Sarabashenta, Rekaya Masenseya, Rokosan. Sansa, <laughs> Reba sente reba shenta ya roko sanza ya baranta ya reba sente reba shenta ya reka ya maseke te reba shenta ya roko sanza ya ba reba seke te reba shenta Father God we thank you God roko siya kusanza ya reka ya maseke te ya rika ya maseke te ya busa reba seke te reba shenta Hallelujah in Jesus. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.
Amen. And the next thing that you're just going to thank the Lord, oh, we're going to thank the Lord, even for the discipleship that has been a testimony uh, in, in King's Arrow and also in, um, in, in the tribe. The Bible says in Luke chapter 10, verse 17 to 18, it says the 72 returned with joy and said, Lord, even the demons submit to us in your name. He replied, I saw yeah. Satan fall like lightning from heaven. And that has been a testimony. And I can attest that is what I've experienced because the time when I came looking at where 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 I was and where I am right now, there are things that now I can exercise in authority. And I'm super humble because I took the causes and I took the meeting so seriously and it has helped me grow in the name of Jesus. There, there's a season even, uh, be, I mean, beginning of last year, because of what I learned, I said, you know what, we're going to establish this as a Bible study. And in addition, and, and that's in our church ministry. And in addition to that, this year, they say that this is going to be a year for prayer and me being the leader for um i mean the leader in our ministry you're like steven we're allocating you to help us to be able to develop uh the prayer and intercessory and i can say that i've seen the goodness of the lord in that regard i have seen his power i have seen his authority that i'm able to stand i was you know a bit timid uh, uh, way back then but right now i am rising up in that boldness and in the courage that the lord has called me because this is the work that he has called me to do. This is just one of the yeah. examples that I can just say. God has been faithful in the mighty name of Jesus. So we're just going to thank the Lord in that regard. We thank you, God. Thank you, Lord, for the establishment of the discipleship Thank you for the blessing of blood and all God in the mighty Thank you, God, for King Taro. Thank you, God, for tribe and a tribe like this, oh God. You have called them to raise ministers. You have called them to raise all Rabashenzaya intercessors. You have called them to raise all Rabashenza, to raise all God, Rabashenzaya, Rabashenza, Rabashenzaya. You have called them to raise all God, ministers, oh God, that you may have an impact, oh my Redeemer God. Father God, we thank you, oh Rabashenza, oh Rabashenzaya, Rabashenzaya, and even we have learned, oh God, we have called for the Lord to put into practice, oh God. You are calling us, oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.
and we are just going to thank we're going to thank the lord for our nations we're going to thank the lord for our nations from the book of ezekiel chapter 36 verse 34 to 36 and it says the desolate land will be cultivated instead of lying desolate in the sight of all who pass through it they will say this land that was laid waste has become like the garden of eden the cities that were lying in ruins desolate and destroyed are now fortified and in Inhabited, then the nations around yeah. you will remain. Will know that I, the Lord, has have rebuilt oh what was destroyed and have replanted what was desolate. I, the Lord, have spoken and I will do it. Yeah. So we're just going to thank yeah. the Lord because who Ravashensaya, Remasansaya. We are going to thank the Lord in this regard that nations are rising in the name of Jesus. That God is repositioning nations to be able to obtain their economic power, to be able to obtain their yeah. political power. God is calling the nations uh, to break down, yes, uh, to break down every Babylonian system uh, and the king system begins to rise, the kingdom system begins to rise. Oh, yeah. God is calling us oh, in the name of Jesus. Let's pray. Oh, Rekaya Bashenza, Thank you, thank you, God, for making nation rise in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, my mother, Rabba Thank you, Father, Rabba Thank you, Father, Rabba Father, God, an economic change, bringing a social change. Thank you for blessing our nation as Christ in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, thank you, God, for a new beginning upon our nation in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, God, Lord God, for a turnaround in the name of Jesus. Thank you for technological advancement, kingdom exploits that Father God, the nation shall experience in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 And then the next thing, thank you, God. Uh, we are just also 
are still going to just thank our nations because even when there is restoration, there's also going to be even an exposure in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Genesis chapter one, verse three to four, it says, and God said, let there be light. And there was light. God saw that the light was good and he separated from the light from the darkness. So even with this form of light, it shall begin to, to I mean, to bring out mysteries in the mighty name of Jesus. Even things like corruption shall begin to be exposed in the mighty name of Jesus. You know, there's gonna be it's a mene mene tekel opasin that you know those forms of corruption has become so wanting and God is like I am going to penetrate I'm going to ensure that this darkness is exposed that things begin to be aligned in the mighty name of Jesus so we're just going to thank the Lord because people in I mean foundations have we have gone through you know corruption and and, and it has literally um bumped us down and God is just saying you know now I'm beginning to reveal there's gonna be an exposure in the mighty name of Jesus so we're just mm -hmm. gonna thank the Lord that the light shall penetrate and every form of uh, demonic force and every form of I mean um I mean demonic system is gonna be exposed for the glory of the Lord to be revealed in the mighty name of Jesus yeah. so let's just thank the Lord in that regard for your right of exposing every hidden agenda in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. Thank you, Father, that Father God, through your right, oh God, you are aligning, oh God, political systems, oh God. You are bringing more people, oh God, with great leadership and governance, oh God. Oh, Rabusa Zayaba Rako, Rekana Rabasha Zaya, Rokosa Zayaba Rako, Rekayaba we thank you, Father God. You are turning the darkness into light and you are making the rough places in the mighty Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 The next prayer point, we're just going to, we're going to uh, thank the Lord for the divine restoration. This being the theme for, uh, I mean, it being the theme for 2024. And the Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter 43, verse 18 to 19, it says, forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way yeah. in the desert and streams in the wasteland. Yeah. So God is calling 
calling us uh, to be able to see what he's literally doing at times patterns you know patterns and trends can make us you know tend to deviate from what the lord is saying but god is saying he's doing a new thing it's not a man that he shall lie nor a son of man that he changes his mind he speaks and he acts he promises and he fulfills he yeah. never violates his covenant he never alters what yeah. he has uttered so god is saying with this divine restoration it shall be a season to rebuild it shall be a season to relaunch it shall be a season to be established in our vocations it will be a season for repossession so in this season he's calling us to arise and shine he's calling us to arise and possess he's calling us to be able to arise in the mighty name of jesus so god is calling us even at this particular point to believe in his word because the bible says we, uh, the bible says that he has great plans for us to prosper us and not to harm us to give us hope and a future so this word is giving us hope regarding 2024 it's giving us a great future in the mighty name of jesus so let's just pray in that regard let's thank the lord for this holy word in the name of jesus <laughs> that you have called this season, oh God, to be a season of a refreshing, to be a season of an establishment. So the Lord, we thank you, God, for making a way in the desert and dreams in the way. Father God, thank you for this divine restoration that Father God is bringing us a relaunch, that is bringing us a refreshing. Amen. Amen. And then the Bible says Amen. in the book of the Bible says in the book of Psalm, chapter 50, verse 15, it says, and call on me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you and you will honor me. The, so the, uh, the Bible literally, so what you're going to do at this point is that you're going to thank the Lord for his rescue. Even 
even for the things that we've literally called for him. I mean, we, we have called to him. He has literally rescued us in the mighty name of Jesus. When we called unto him, he literally established us from the pit unto the solid rock. And he's also going to do the yeah. same even for this year. When he, when we called unto him, you know, right there in the midst of the storm, he was just there. He was there in the midst of the flame, in the midst of the fire, in the mighty name of Jesus. When we called unto him. He leveled every mountain so that we are able to be free. He cut down gates of bronze and he broke down bars of iron. He reversed every arrow. He reversed the arrow of the day and the terrors of the night so we can attest that when we called unto his name, his hand was never short to save. He came on so swiftly, even before we even could call his name as the Bible says in the book of Isaiah 65. Even before we called, he already answered. He was already available. He had already set an ambush into the enemy's camp. So we are just going to thank the Lord that he is a God who comes to the rescue in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's just unmute and begin yeah, to pray yeah, in that yeah, regard. Yeah. Oh, Oh, we thank you, Father God. Thank you, mighty God, that you are the God who saves, oh God. We are giving praise unto you, God, that you are the God when we call unto your name. You answer us and show us great and unsearchable things when we call unto your name. Father God, you remove us from the peace, Almighty Father God. Father God, when we call that your name, Father God, you scatter the works of the enemy. Thousands of God fell on the left, ten thousands on the right. Father God, we thank you. Father God, we thank you. Thank you, God, that you are a Savior. Oh, you are the Savior, God. You are our King, God. Father God, we thank you, my Shantaya. What was our body, God? we have seen, O God, that Father God, you can never leave us nor forsake us. Oh, Father God, Lord God, you parted the Red Sea, that Father God, we are able, O God, to cross over. Father God, you ensure that the chariots of the rock do not even, Father God, cross. Oh, God, we thank you, Riva Shenzaya. You made the walls of Jericho to fall. Oh, Thank you for upholding us with your righteous right hand. Oh, Ramashenzaya. Rokosanzaya. Thank you, Father God, for making us to come to your presence. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We are hearing Amen. some background noise. Amen. We are hearing some background noise. If you are in a noisy place, please kindly stay muted. We're hearing some background noise. Please stay muted if you are in a noisy place. Thank you. Over to you, Stephen. Okay. Um, the next thing that we're going to do, even at this point, we're still we're still thanking God for uh, for His preservation 
and also for setting us apart. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter 43 verse 1, it says, but now this is what the Lord your creator says, O Jacob, yeah. and he who formed you, O Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you from captivity. I have called you by name, you are mine. And I'll just emphasize that I have called you by name and you are mine. And what I like about the Amplified Version is that he, uh, the, the Amplified Version puts the mine with an exclamation. And to me, what mm. with that form of exclamation, it just shows the level of jealousy that God has. You know, the level of uh, jealousy that God has to even literally preserve us because he bought us at a price. He bought us at a price. So he says that he has called us by name. So he has already just justified us. He has glorified us. He has predestined us in the mighty name of Jesus. There are seasons whereby he preserved us. You know, there are seasons whereby he drew us out like Moses. You know, we were meant to be a sacrifice. We were meant to be initiated into, into witchcraft and things of that nature. But God drew us apart. God drew us apart. You know, the, 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 I mean, the, 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 the blood of the lamb literally was on our head. You know, so that even, I mean, even the people who have whatever ulterior motives, they were not able to touch us. We are standing here because of God's preservation. We are standing here because of God's preservation. He has literally set us apart, even in the midst of the patterns of the world. And we can we can see how, you know, the world has literally been defiled with various forms of, you know, evil, you know, and God has literally preserved us. You know, and the Bible still says that darkness covered the earth and thick darkness over the people. But even in that mm. regard, in Isaiah 60, the Lord still preserved us. We are standing because of God's preservation. We cannot take that for granted. We cannot take that for granted. God has literally set us apart. He has preserved us so that we can even advance even his kingdom and we can testify of his goodness in that regard. So let's just, um, you know, thank the Lord even in that regard. Yeah. Father God, we thank you, God, that Father God, you have held us, oh God, you preserved us, oh my Redeemer God, even in seasons, oh my Father God, oh Rabashenta, where there was so much strife, God, you preserved us, oh God, Father God, you covered us with the blood of the Lamb, Father God, Rabashenta, ya, Reka, ya, Rabashenta, ya, Rokosanta, Usanta, ya, Reka, ya, Basanta, Rabashenta, Rokosanta, Rabashenta, Reka, ya, Rabashenta, Oh, Rabashenta, we thank you, Father God, that Father God, you bought us at a price, that Father God, Rabashenta, you called us by the name of God, Rekaya <laughs> Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.
uh, the Bible says in the book of Psalm chapter 139, verse 14, the Bible says, I praise you because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. When I was preparing for this, I mean, for the, for the prayer points, this, this word literally came so strongly. There are those who, oh God, there are those who have gone through such a bad experience and they see, I see like abuse, uh, sexual abuse and things like that, that. They don't see themselves valuable. Even when God is saying, I'm going to restore the years that the canker worms have eaten, you're not seeing yourself valuable. You're looking at yourself and you're thinking, I wish I was dead and things like that. But God is saying that he fearfully and wonderfully made you. And, and one thing about this verse, we have to really internalize it so that may the, I mean, for, for, for what the Lord has spoken, we are able to, you know, we are we are able to literally position ourselves in receiving in receiving what the Lord has has stated. Because when we begin to look, I mean, to look inside of us and see how God, you know, how God um, has, has 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 created us fearfully and wonderfully, then that means that we are able to even grasp, you know, that form of of divine restoration. You know, so so what this verse literally means is that He handcrafted us. He literally handcrafted us, and He He did. We, you know, we were not made like, you know, like a mass production, like he literally had an intimate knowledge of us when he was creating us, you know, positioning us in generations, positioning us in, in various forms of nations and, and, and things of that yeah. nature. So we were not created before. I mean, I, I mean, we're not created uh, as, as an accident, you know, because even the Bible says that the hair on our head, it is numbered, you know, and when it is numbered, it means that there is literally a code that even when your hair turns gray, God knows that that's that's a code. When one, one of the strands turned gray, he just knows that's a particular code. It's code number five something and all that. He, it's literally that. That is what it literally means. That every form of your hair, it's literally coded. It is numbered. It is not counted. It is numbered in the mighty name of Jesus. So we are just going to, to, to begin to thank the Lord that we are fearfully and wonderfully made in the mighty name of Jesus. So let's just take that time in the mighty name of Jesus to just to just thank the Lord in that regard. Father God, we thank you all Thank you, my God, Rakaya <laughs> <laughs> 
And even with the divine restoration, we are going to thank the Lord for a new name. We're going to thank the Lord for a new name. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah 62, verse 2 and, and 4, it says, the nations will see your vindication and all kings your glory. You will be called by a new name that the mouth of the Lord will bestow. No longer will they call you deserted or, or name your land desolate, but you will be called Hepzibah and your land Beulah, for the Lord will take delight in you and your land will be married mm. in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm. So with this divine mm. restoration, they, there, there comes a new name, you know, because at, at times situations, and, and we can attest that at times situations can be, can be there for so long that you end up being called that situation. For instance, the woman with the issue of blood, we do not know, we do not know her name. The layman, you know, who's who sat beside the beauty gate, we do not know his name. Actually, I'm even thinking that probably even he became a landmark, you know, because you can imagine if someone wanted a direction to the beauty gate, they'll be like, there's normally a layman there beside the beside that gate. That's the beauty gate. You can imagine particular situations that you normally go through until people now normally tag you that particular situation now they name you based on that situation but the lord is giving you an assurance that you are having a new name in this season in the name of jesus even your boundaries will have a new name your walls as the bible says in isaiah 60 your walls shall be known as salvation and your gates shall be known as yeah. praise your name shall be associated yeah. with greatness your name shall be associated with worship your name shall be associated with nobility and exploits and laughter yeah. your name yeah. shall be associated with sophistication. Your name shall be associated with kingdom Amen. exploits in the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. So let's just thank the Lord Amen. in that regard. Oh, Thank you, Father, for the new name. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. And, you know, the next thing that you're going to do, we're going to thank God for fruitfulness. We're going to thank the Lord for the fruitfulness. And the yeah. Bible says in the book of Isaiah 54, verse 1, it says, Sing, O barren woman, you who never bore a child, 
burst into song, shout for joy, hallelujah. You who were never in labor because more are the children of the desolate woman than of her who has a husband, says the Lord. So with this divine restoration, it assures fruitfulness. You know, there are, and, and, and this form of fruitfulness, it's not just the physical, you know, just the, um, I mean, the physical womb, but also yeah. the spiritual womb in the mighty name of Jesus. So I'm decreeing and declaring and I'm thanking the Lord that even out of your womb, spiritually, physically, you shall birth out kings, you shall birth out prophets, you shall birth out priests, apostles, you shall birth out unusual opportunities that you will yeah. be able to feed nations, you'll be able to feed communities, you shall be able to birth out opportunities that will be able to spring social, economic, and spiritual impact in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Rabbi Shedza, you shall be able to rise yeah. in fruitfulness yeah. in the yeah. mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Rabashete ya barako sota ya rekanda rabasheke tere barako saya repa sota ya basheke tere remosha ya roko sota rabasheta ya reka ya basheke tere remosha ya roko sota rabasheta reka ya basheke tere remosha roko sota ya basheta reka ya basheke tere remosha roko sota tere remosha reka ya basheke tere remosha reka ya basheke tere Thank you, Father God. Kayama Sonsaya, Rokosa Katayabo, Hallelujah, Rakayaba, Rokosota Rabasheta, Rekayama Shetea, Rokosota Rabasheta, Rekayama Sheketa, Rokosoka Tayaba, Hallelujah, Rabosheta, Rekayama Shetea, Thank you, God, Rebasheta, Rabalato Yaboshaya, Rakataya Balakata, Rokosa Tayaba, Oh, thank you God for opening doors. Rika Yaba Shetelemosha, Rokosa Tayaba, Rika Yaba Sheta, Rokosa Tayaba. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, my God. And Father, the Bible says in the book of Isaiah 54, verse 3, it says, For you will spread out to the right and to the left and your descendants yeah. will take possession of nations and will inhabit deserted mm. cities. Oh, so we are going to yeah. thank the Lord for expansion. With this form of restoration, there's an expansion in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Rabbi Shenta, yeah, we are going to thank the Lord in that regard. As I was preparing, I was seeing evangelists rising up and being given Asian yeah. countries in the yeah. mighty name of Jesus. I was seeing even prophets rising up. Yes, I'm seeing the word they mentioned, and I'm seeing the sky as well in that regard, that they are penetrating yeah. mysteries, things that, 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 you know, that was hidden in the dark, and they're able now to access that form in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I'm decreeing and even declaring in the name of Jesus that even with these businesses that have been struggling and toiling, you shall birth out yeah. ventures, and those ventures shall Amen. birth out uh, subsidiaries and branches in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Oh, Amen. Rabbi Shetzaya, with this expansion, I'm decreeing and I'm declaring that you are receiving the grace for influence. You are receiving the grace for yes. affluence. You are receiving the grace for favor and access in the mighty name of Jesus. And in regard to that expansion, even your mind shall be expanded in the mighty name of Jesus, that you shall be able to have accommodate the ideas, the inventions, the innovations, the strategies in the mighty name of Jesus. You will have the spiritual Amen. capacity to accommodate Amen. it in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Rabbi Shetaya, I will also seen investors literally coming, yes, uh, investors coming to aid uh, in the mighty name of Jesus so that they are helping you to expand industries. That's what I'm seeing. Oh, Rabbi Shetaya. So we're just going to thank the Lord in that regard. 
Breka ya basonga la basheke tere baranta ya rokosa zaya baraka tayana rokosa kataya basenta rokose ketere basheta raka ya bashete de baranta rokosa zaya baraka ya 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 rokosa ketere baraka ya Zaya Barakaya, Rema Zaya Barakosa, Hallelujah, Rabba Shenta, Roko Sente Reba Shenta, Rakaya Bashenta Reba Shenta, Roko Zaya, Roko Zaya, Rekaya Bashenta, Roko Sota Raba Shenta, Rekaya Bashenta Rebosha, Roko Sente Yaba Shenta, Rekaya Bashenta Rebosha, Reba Nakata Yabo, Hallelujah, Rabba Shenta, thank you, Father. God, Lord God, for this expansion, oh God. Thank you, Father God, for strengthening our states and enlarging our tents. Father God, thank you, Father God, that you're granting us, oh God, landscapes wherever our feet, oh God, sets in. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father God, we thank you that with this expansion, you grant us various graces that, Father God, we shall sustain it for the next generation. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh Rabashente, Roko Sota Rabashenta, Reka. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Just one last prayer point, and we're just going to thank the Lord for renewed strength, even when He does. I mean, I mean, when He's when He's doing the divine restoration. The Bible says in the book of Numbers, chapter twenty-three, verse twenty-two, it says, "God brought them out of Egypt. They have the strength of a wild ox." God brought them yeah. out of Egypt. They have the strength of a wild ox. And ox, an ox normally symbolizes power. It symbolizes authority. And it also symbolizes leadership. And what I like about the strength of a wild ox, what it indicates is that the enemy cannot tame you. Because you have been in slavery for a long period of time. Now you have come out with a strength that, you know, you are able to rise and you're able to run and not grow weary. So the enemy cannot tame you anymore. The enemy cannot put a leash on your neck anymore. So you are beginning to rise. You are thanking the Lord that you have granted you the strength to be able to break every column. You're able to break every yoke. You're able to destroy every yeah, altar. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus, God has granted you that courage yeah. to be able to face Goliath in the mighty name of Jesus. He's granted you that strength yeah. to be able to uproot and tear down, to be able to destroy and overthrow. Yeah. He has given you that form of courage and authority to be able to make the sun stand still in the mighty name of Jesus. You are the person that you will do the eyes have not seen and the ears have not heard. You are the yeah. person who, are, yeah. who is able to do great and mighty things in the mighty name of yeah. Jesus for the glory yeah. of the Lord. So you just begin to receive that form of power and authority because God has said yeah. that he has granted you that authority to trample over snakes and scorpions. Oh, Rabbi Shenta, yeah. Yeah. So you are rising in the name of Jesus. So let's just thank the Lord Amen. regarding that form of strength. Oh, Father thank God, we thank you. Oh, Rabbi Shenta, yeah. Rabba <laughs> Hallelujah, Father God, thank you for the strength of God that we can even heal, Almighty Redeemer God, tear the jaws of the lion in the 
mighty name of Jesus. We are able to break down every yoke. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Oh, Father God, we thank you, God. We give you praise and we give you glory, God. We give you all the honor for the promises that you have revealed, oh God, for the revelations that you have revealed, almighty Father. That, Father God, you're going to do great and mighty things that we did not know, almighty Redeemer. That, Father God, you're going to align, almighty Redeemer, Father. Father God, you're aligning the altars, oh God. You're granting us the capacity to rise, oh God. And, Father God, break down every form of altar, oh God. God, and Father God, establish the altar that you have called us to establish, oh God, in our families, in our ministries, in our cities, and in our nations. Father God, we thank you for the assurance, oh God, that you are making our wombs fruitful. We thank you, Father God, for the assurance, oh God, that Lord God, you are destroying every form of shame and reproach. That Father God, instead of, of shame, you are granting us praise and fame in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. Thank you, Father God, for the adaptation of a new name, oh God. That, Father God, we are rising, oh God. Father God, we are rising, oh God, in the authority that you have granted us, oh God. Father God, thank you for repositioning us, oh God. We have been waiting for a time like this, oh God. And, Father God, we thank you, Riva Shenta, that you are destroying, oh Father God, every slavery spirit in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father God, we thank you for the plans that you have for our nations. Mighty Father God, you have said that Lord God, you are, yes, you are breaking every Babylonian system. And Father God, you are establishing, oh God, yes, I see the Nehemiahs. Oh, Rabba Shentaya, that's what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit. Oh, Father God, I thank you, Riva Shentaya, that you are raising up the Josephs, oh God, with economic acumen, oh God, with spiritual acumen, oh God. You're raising the Daniels, almighty Father God, with great leadership and governance, almighty Father. You're raising the Issachars, oh God, in this time of revival. Bible, they shall know the times and the seasons. You are raising up, Almighty Father God. Oh, Rabba Shent and Emosha, the David's Almighty Redeemer God, that they will have the courage, oh Father, to break down every Goliath in the name of Jesus. Father God, we thank you. We give you praise. I just hear the Lord say, For Zimbabwe, I have not forgotten you. And in relation to that, I'm just seeing a stone, a huge stone that is being split into two in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Oh, Rabba Shent, I am. That's what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit. It's rising up and it's being split into two. And God is saying you need to travail. You need to travail in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Rabba Shentaya. So, Father God, we thank you and we give you praise and we give you glory. That even with this divine restoration, oh God, Father God, you are setting an ambush in the enemy's camp, oh my Redeemer God. You are destroying every yoke, oh mighty Father God. You are breaking, oh Father God, every demonic altar in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, we thank you, God, Amen. for their season has come, oh God. The mene mene take up yeah. sin, oh Father God. We thank you, yeah. Father God, yeah. in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you praise and we give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Father. Amen. 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 Wow, wow, wow. Thank you, thank you Stephen. Amen. That was powerful. Thank you. God You're bless welcome, you. sir. Um, welcome. We'll take an announcement. Um, and then um, we will just um, round up with a prayer. So the the um, fasting and prayer continues tomorrow, um, twelve noon, U.S. Eastern Standard Time, six p.m. Nigeria, five p.m. Ghana, seven p.m. South Africa, eight p.m. East African Time. Um, I think I'm on the program to lead tomorrow. But um, let's make it a point of you to log in on time. This is very important so that we can gain much mileage, much ground in the spirit. That was a powerful, powerful session. As Stephen was leading, the spirit of intercession was, was released. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a bit of a cough. Was released and um, as many as keyed into those prayers, will be able to function in that grace. 
Now, we have an announcement for the podcast. We're going to resume our podcast um, from today. We, we did one last week, an episode spin-off that Minister Yemi and I had the privilege to We are no longer hearing you, sir. I guess this began. Can you guys hear me? Yes, we can hear you now. We can hear you now. Did I? Did it go blank for a while? Yes, sir. We can hear you now. Okay, okay. Sorry about that. Um. <clears throat> so the podcast episode, I want you guys to take time to watch it. Uh, this is very important for your spiritual growth. Um, the one being released today, Amy made it, um, and it's. I want to give us give us some more information about it. It's be released in the next one hour. But uh, over to you, Amy. Thank you very much, uh, Damala. Uh, good evening, good afternoon, everyone. And um, like Damala said, we are resuming our regular schedule for the podcast this week. Um, we took a break last week, sort of, and had an older episode that Damala had recorded with Minister Yemi. But today we have a new episode, and it's going to sort of follow this theme for the month. And this month, we're basically going to be kind of working with everyone to put together a proper like vision board slash plan for the year. Um, that covers the different aspects of your life, your spiritual life, your, uh, you know, financial life, your relationships, you know, all of that. So this week's episode is, you know, focused on building a proper plan for your spiritual growth this year. It's going to go live. It's going to premiere in about an hour. So if you are awake, if you are able, um, try to watch it when it goes live. <clears throat> But if you're not, obviously, it's still going to be on the channel and you can watch it tomorrow. But I think it's going to be a very, very um, helpful uh, video for many of us because I know we're at the point where we're trying to see what our plans might look like for the year. And the goal of this episode is to ensure that we actually put our spiritual growth in perspective and not just have those one line plans of growing God or get closer to God. And then, you know, it's the end of the year and nothing has changed. So this episode goes in depth into how you can actually build a proper spiritual development plan for yourself. And it's based on what Damala and I have done in our own lives and that we still do today. So if you can take that template and make a few changes and make it yours, I guarantee, well, <clears throat> I would say that by by the grace of God, by the end of the year, you should not be able to recognize yourself, okay? So look out for the episode. It'll be live in about an hour. Leave your comments, questions, and all of that there, and we can answer them. But um, yeah, I really look forward to you all watching the video. Thank you, Damala, and um, over to you. All right. Thank you, Amy. Um, while Stephen was leading, the Lord said that he wants to heal gastrointestinal issues. There are people on this call that um, have gastrointestinal issues. I had to look that up myself. I didn't even know what it was, but that's what I heard very clearly. And so I'm just going to say a quick prayer before we dispatch. Father, we thank you for touching those that have gastrointestinal problems today in this season. Thank you because your hand is strong upon their life. We bless your name. We've just come to give you praise, give you thanksgiving, to adore you and to worship you. And so do just as you said you will do in their lives. Thank you, Father, because you are our fan Omega in our lives. Thank you for keeping us fit and strong so that we can bless your name and praise you. And so once again, Father, we thank you for healing gastrointestinal problems. In Jesus, precious and mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. God bless you guys. Have a nice evening. We will see you tomorrow at the altar. God bless you guys. Bye bye. Amen. Thank you, sir. Bye, Amen. everyone. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.